But guys, Human Entity 4 here. And Gary here. And we just saw Yu-Gi-Oh! 3D Bonds Beyond Time. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about how terrible this movie is. First, first, before we start, I just want to say, I have one copy. And Spencer, show them what you have. Three and a red eyes. I also bought a some kid for three dollars. Ally Justice Decisive Armor. Who is beautifully epic. Yes. So, if there is any reason to go to this movie at all, it's, it's a, for the card. It's if you want to collect a red eye sin, which is pretty cool. It's sin red eyes. Whatever. Okay. And it's, it's malefic, but we use the OCG. Okay. Issues. So the movie. Where to start? Okay. One. Um. Basically, the first ten minutes of the whole entire movie is a giant recap of who Yugi, Jaden, and Yusei are. But here's the thing. There's no ad advertising for this movie on TV. So basically, you'll know who it is if, you, if you're if going to see the movie. If you watched any Yu-Gi-Oh! whatever. So this is really good if you're just like, starting into Yu-Gi-Oh! or whatever yeah. as a good instruction. But you will find it very tedious and annoying if you've ever watched like three episodes of any series and know who people actually are. Alright, now... They basically ex describe Jaden as the present, while Yugi is the past, and Yusei is the future. Which makes complete sense! I, it does, but just to say, just in the other timeline. And, um, yeah. basically, it's mostly from Yusei's perspective, the whole entire movie. But, um, this dark guy, Paradox, comes, and he takes Yusei's Stardust, and basically, he's trying to destroy dual monsters, and you never find out why. I know why. Actually, it, w it was explained in the cartoon. Basically, the whole reason why Paradox is this is because him, um, Bruno, aka Anatonomi, I think, Zone, and Aporia are were all friends. And what are these people? Okay, Bruno's the one who who uses Tech Genus. Okay. Aporia is the one who uses the Machine Emperors, and Zone is the guy that everybody thought was Yusei. All right, so this is all future stuff for people like me. Spoiler alert! Yes, spoilers. So besides the fact that the ten minutes of it is a recap. And basically, it's just like, Yusei now gets the ability to travel through time, thanks to the Crimson Dragon, because he's a boss <laughs> like that. And they all get together in Yugi's time error, and Paradox wants to kill Maximilian Pegasus and end dueling once and for all. So they have this giant big-ass duel, and let's list the things wrong with that duel. Wait, but before we do that, there was one thing that I actually enjoyed about the movie. Which is? Jane almost died. I hate Jane. Jaden almost does die, but of course, Neos saves his ass. No, actually, he got saved, and then when Neos got destroyed almost, Yusei comes roaring in on his magical D-wheel, and the Crimson Dragon saves him. Bull shit. Now, what's real bullshit is the match between them. One, they set normal spell cards like a boss. <laughs> just saying. Second of all, there's just one part of the movie... Oh, by the way, spoiler alert, but I don't think you guys give a crap because this movie was terrible. No, but anyway, there's this one part in the duel where, like, where Paradox has his monster with 5,000 attack points. He a attacks, he tries to attack him. And these are Dane's exact words. And this is why I will always hate him. I have an ace card. I activate through the Sony Grimo. Oh, yes. <laughs> Jane and Yuki. As his way of surviving for the one turn, activates Flute of Summoning Karibo, and then a giant big-ass Karibo comes oh, and takes the blast oh, from Malefic Truth Dragon. But, one, when Paradox summons Malefic Truth Dragon, he fuses with it like he's Merrick, and he gets the whole entire veins and crazy eye, and his hair sticks <laughs> up. Yeah, so I'm just like, no, you just ripped off Yugi. It's like, I spent ten years of my life watching this, why do I need a repeat? <laughs> Next. Um, let's see. All the cards were malefic gay shit. It's just like, you never even explain how you get malefic red eyes, malefic blue eyes, ma malefic Yes, you did, eyes. actually. But he's like, I go back through time and I steal it. It's like, it's like, oh yeah, you've been doing this for so long. It's like... It's a rip off of Back to the Future. It really sort of is. <laughs> it's like a Yu-Gi-Oh version of Back to the Future. Featuring all three main Yu-Gi-Oh protagonists. But anyway, spoiler alert for the ending is probably the stupidest ending ever. Basically what happens is, I don't know, Yugi uses this some makeup card to steal Stardust Dragon back from and Paradox and stick it onto and then, the side of the field. Then, Jaden's like, I've got this card that doubles any monster's attack points as long as Neos I- Neos 
I think it was like Neo's Triangle Force or something. No, it wasn't Triangle Force. It was something stupid. But whatever. It's like it's like Neo's power up. Whatever. It's like when I have Neo yeah. in the field, I can double any monster's attack points. So, so I'm basically, double Stardust. So basically, Yugi has the exact copy of this card. Yes, yeah, so and Dark Magician power. Stardust Dragon goes over me 2,500 attack points to me 10,000. Yes, the 5,000 level. The guy's like, all right, whatever. I just taught you. And he's like, no, I've got this exact fuck, same card. No, it, it, was, it was like, no, it, it, it was like, <laughs> fuck you. I have this card. You're gonna die. But it was sort of cheesy, but it was nice for all us real Yu-Gi-Oh fans. So I would say, if you're into all the cheese, then I would go see it. Oh, and by the way, they fucked up the American voice of Crow. Ah, uh, yes, that too. And they use Jack. And unfortunately, they used Jack Atlas's real voice. <laughs> Hey, Grandpa died! Yes, Grandpa died! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All you little kids out there. Yeah. That's, oh, it's actually rated PG-13, probably. Oh, wait, that. wait, and, and by the way, in the, in the, in the very end... Oh, when, Pegasus? <laughs> Pegasus, you, you play that, you play that. Okay, what happens is, um, they went back in time, because I was that Paradox killed everyone, and then he just left Yugi standing, and he killed Pegasus, and then... I was, you like, have a duel? Yeah, they went back in time, and then they're like, oh no, Pegasus, there's some clouds ahead, which is basically just them dueling, and they're like, they're like, hold on, we should wait it out, and then, um... After the duel's over! Yeah, they're just like, Pegasus is like, like oh, all the clouds are gone. Okay, safe to go. And then he flies down. He's like, he's like, he's like, you guys must be so glad to see me. <laughs> and he's not as as I see you. And he's surrounded by little kids. <laughs> yes, he's slammed by little boys. Apparently, his restraining order is no longer existent. But to sum up this movie, <coughs> sorry about my cough, guys. But um, it's crap. Yeah, it's a very cheesy, cute little movie. If you. <coughs> If you've just recently got into Yu-Gi-Oh, it's good for you, say, like, for the younger fans. But the only reasons to go are, one, get your Malefic. Two, if you're going with a buddy to make it bear bearable. Three, um, I guess if you want to see people trade, a lot of people have binders for the yeah. movies. I always had a buy on it today if I had more cash. Yes, a lot of people had their binders, so that sort of threw me off. But, um... Also, if you want to laugh out loud at all the Yu-Gi-Oh parodies, that movie is cracking up. It actually got a standing ovation because we were just it It's like, really funny. People just like standing up and clapping. All right, now, <laughs> now, now for my two cents. Okay, I've seen plenty of movies in my day. The only movie that I I think was actually worse than this one was Power Rangers Turbo the movie, for many different reasons, which I'll get to hopefully next time. Since we're here, Sally, him and I can watch it together, and then we, and then we can complain. Yeah, I'm making you watch that. Yes. But before this video gets any longer, I would probably give it, I would say, like a 4.5 out of 10. You? And this is being generous. I'll give it a 1. Really? You really hated it that much? Okay. They, they didn't explain okay, how Zayn lost his head. No, no, don't shut me up. They did not explain how and why Zayn lost his Cyber Rain Dragon. They did not explain how Jesse lost his, his Rainbow Dragon. That's what I was saying before, how he got all the stupid dragons. And mind you, guess how long the movie is? If the original oh, version was it's a one hour long, movie. Yeah, two episodes long. So, anyway, I give it a 4.5 out of anybody who's a classic Yu-Gi-Oh fan. For some, for an overall movie, if you're a big Yu-Gi-Oh fan, then I would still go see it. I'd give it like a 7 because of all the corniness and all the funny. Whatever, Gary hated it. I thought it was worth seeing, and it was only eight dollars for tickets, and it's in 3D. And the 3D actually means something to the yeah. movie, not something. Oh my like, Tron Legacy! I'm, I'm looking at you, Disney. Or How to Train Your Dragon. I didn't see that movie. Um, uh, but yeah, if there's process. one thing, all right, I'll admit that the 3D was okay. But if there's one thing that I'm praying that they never do, a Zexel movie. I am not watching Zexel. Yes, I will not watch any Zexel, and I think that exceeds some are completely retarded for anyone so i will basically stick with my main decks and who knows i now think that i might want to make a red eyes sin deck all i'm going to say is before we end the we, we end this review watch you say now that that the that the xc monsters are completely stupid watch four or five months from now you're running two of them i'll probably run the Hope Warrior, whatever thing, the four star things, it's really easy to get in scraps, but that's really it. But anyway, this is a movie review. It was nice to see you guys, YouTube, before I go off to college. This will probably be my last video for a tiny bit. And so, real quick, I have to say two things. First of all, I'm not I'm not buying any more Transformers. I'm growing up past that. Second of all, I have one figure that I want to review um, really soon. Uh, review the Shield tracks. Comment if you don't want them to do it. 
No, I thought people liked my Transformers reviews. If you guys like my Transformers reviews, leave me a comment down below. Thank and you. if you want to get rid of them, leave a comment below. And yeah, so that's next, really it. So also, next, so next time. time. Damn it, Spencer. Shut up, Gary. One more thing. To Silent Eye, something, whatever, the guy who has, like, a Trico-looking thing as his symbol, I'm so sorry, but I will post your video eventually. I know you wanted me to make a video about the basics of Yu-Gi-Oh! And, guys, I feel like that's a really good idea, and I really will do it, but I've been really short on time. I've been sick for most of this vacation. <coughs> as if you can't tell by my cough. But I'll be home in April. So, this is Humanity 4. And, and yeah, don't call me Dragon 22. <laughs> Tell me, Gary. Yeah. And Gary, signing off. And I'll be back with another video sometime this week. And I'll be back later. Take us away, Gary. Cue up, cue up big battle music. <laughs> oh, that. one more thing to hate about the movie. Before our time runs out, because luckily YouTube does 15 minute. Actually, they changed it. Now it's unlimited. Unlimited? Nice. Yeah. Anyway, point being, and a little trailer for YouTube there, but, um, Point being, the ending credits for the movie, do you remember? Play all three Yu-Gi-Oh! theme songs. Yes. There were people behind us who were complaining about the GX theme song. I hated GX, but I loved I loved the cards that it gave us, like the Elemental Heroes I loved. I loved how they gave us the Arcane Force. I used to run Arcane Force and Crystal Beast together in one deck, which failed miserably. Yes, so... Yu-Gi-Oh! movie, see it if you're a hardcore Yu-Gi-Oh! fan and you're willing to laugh at the facts that make Yu-Gi-Oh! what it is. If you're a normal person who's not that much into it, then I would say skip it. Or if you're a huge fan of Little Karibo, wait until he uh, makes it with, with Masako X. Or if you want to see Giant Karibo save the day in the movie, <laughs> when Jaden pulls out a flute of summoning Karibo. I was ass. This is Humanity 4. And, and Gary, saying it once again, sign off. Alright.